Good morning children. Welcome to your biology class. How are you all? I believe you are fine and safe at home. Our online assessment is coming. So I hope you started your preparations. Study well. Let's start our today's class. Dear children, our portions are almost completed. A small portion is remaining that is the difference between acquired traits and inherited traits. Inherited traits. You know that you got some characters from your parents. That characters are actually controlled by the genes. And that characters are inherited from your parents. It may be the color, skin color, eye color, shape of the nose or anything. Okay, so such characters are called as inherited traits. Okay, so these are genetic variations and inherited traits develop due to the reshuffling of genetic material and mutations. These traits are transferred by the parents to their offspring. They don't die but are passed on to the next generation. In your textbook, one example is given that is attached or free earlobe. You may be having attached earlobe or you may be having free earlobe. That is a character, that is an inherited trait that is already present in your parent. You Go that character from your parent. Okay, the next one is acquired character. Acquired means these characters are acquired by an individual during his lifetime, depending upon his lifestyle. The examples are learning of dance, music, etc. And also, you can develop your muscles by going to the gym. So, muscular body of is also an example for acquired traits. Okay, these are not controlled by genes and they will not be passed into the generation, next generation. So that is the difference between acquired and inherited traits. Children, you learned about monohybrid and dihybrid crows. Okay, so how do Mendel's experiments show that traits may be dominant or recessive? If you see such a question, you have to do monohybrid crows and explain the same. Okay, and if the question is, how do Mendel's experiments show that traits are inherited independently? Traits are inherited independently. So you have to do the dihybrid crows and explain the crows. I wish you all the best for your model examination. Study well. Thank you for listening me children. See you in another class. Bye.